What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English beat. I'm Katia. Today, my eye doesn't look very good, but don't worry, it's nothing serious. It's just a sty, and I wanted to record this lesson anyway. So, in today's English beat, we're going to focus on the speaking exam, namely on parts three and four, in which you have to discuss something with your partner. As you may know, interacting with your interlocutor here is essential. And one way to do it is by asking for their opinion. The most overused question is, what do you think? That's why in today's lesson, we're going to look at 11 synonyms to replace this question so that your English is richer and more varied. And you can use some of these questions in any English exam that contains a dialogue. Are you ready to expand your vocabulary and get ready for your speaking exam? If so, grab your vocabulary notebook and let's kick off. Before we start, as you may know, my previous lesson was on vocabulary to talk about advantages and disadvantages. And I remembered two more interesting things that you can use. The first one is on the minus side. So I told you that you can use on the plus side. So we can also say on the minus side. Let's look at one example. On the minus side, our modern life is very fast and rather stressful. On the plus side, technology has connected the world. And the second thing is a very useful and advanced verb to outweigh, which means to be greater and more important than something else. For example, you can say the advantages outweigh the disadvantages. And if you want to make it even more advanced and more interesting, you can add the advantages far or massively or greatly outweigh the disadvantages, which means that there are more advantages than disadvantages. And now let's get down to business. The first question on my list is, don't you think? So it's like, what do you think? But we omit the question word and make it negative. And it sounds more casual and more informal. And now let's look at one example. As far as I'm concerned, we waste a great deal of time on our phones. And I reckon a digital detox could counter this addiction. Don't you think? In this example, we've got an advanced verb to counter, which means to do something in order to reduce or prevent the bad effects of something. An example sentence, yoga and meditation can counter harmful effects of stress. Number two, we've got several options here. We could ask, would you agree? Or would you agree with me on that? Or wouldn't you agree? Or simply, do you agree? And now let's look at one example. I believe using public transport together with bikes and electric scooters is an effective way to help the environment. Would you agree with me on that? Our third option is what's your opinion? And now one example. I feel that creativity can be developed. For instance, you can boost your imagination by stepping out of your comfort zone and living experiences you're not used to. What's your opinion? The verb to boost means to improve or increase something. An example sentence, building healthy habits can boost your self-confidence. Number four, what do you reckon about that? So the verb to reckon is a more informal way to say to think or believe. And now one example. I honestly believe that finding the positive in each situation is key to develop an optimistic outlook on life. 
What do you reckon about that? And guys, I've got a lesson on 10 advanced nouns and one of them is Outlook. If you haven't seen it yet, you can click on the card at the top of the screen and you can also find the link in the description box. And now let's continue our question number five. How do you feel about this idea? And now one example. From my point of view, there should be more clutter-free streets with no signs or barriers where pedestrians and cars could coexist harmoniously. How do you feel about this idea? And guys, before we continue, just a super quick reminder. Please make sure you subscribe to English Beats if you like this channel and make sure that your bell icon is on. There is a weekly lesson waiting for you. It's on Sundays at 12 p.m. Thank you. And now let's continue with our lesson. We're going to look at six more synonyms that can replace the question, what do you think? And number six, do you see my point? And now one example. Personally speaking, a strong willpower is one of the ingredients of success. Do you see my point? Number seven, the question, what are your thoughts on this? For example, it seems to me that it's a blessing when you can make a living out of doing what you love. What are your thoughts on this? The verb to make a living out of something or out of doing something means to make enough money to support yourself financially. Important, the preposition out, out of something. Number eight, what's your view on that? An example sentence, it said that having an early dinner has a lot of pros. One of them is a better night's sleep. What's your view on that? Okay, number nine, one of my favorites. Are we on the same page? And now one example. I'd rather have a poorly paid but fulfilling job than one which is well paid but tedious. Are we on the same page? The adjective tedious is C1 and it means boring. It's a more advanced synonym of boring. For example, I find his job tedious. Two more to go. Number 10. Where do you stand on this issue? And now let's look at one example. It's my view that a flexible working day can foster good employee performance. Where do you stand on this issue? The verb to foster is level C1 and it means to encourage something to develop. And last but not least, what's your stance on this issue? For example, vaccination is the key to stop the pandemic. What's your stance on this issue? So guys, that's it for today. Thank you for having watched this video up to the very end. I hope you found this lesson very useful and it will help you interact better with your partner in your speaking exam. And guys, I have two more lessons in line with this one. One of them is 25 alternatives to say I agree. So you have different ways and different phrases to use when you want to agree with a partner. And another one is 10 synonyms to replace I don't agree. So I think these three videos can help you a lot when preparing your speaking exam, especially parts three and four, when you have to interact with your partner. If you haven't seen them yet, you can find them right here. And guys, if you learned something new, please don't forget to give this lesson a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to English Beats and catch me on Instagram for more daily English. 
every day there is a quiz waiting for you and I also teach one word every day. So with that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!